This is WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Triangle of Misfits <laughs> for our second segment of the day. Uh, it took a little bit of a break, but uh, we're back here. Okay, so now we left off talking about D right is love. And whether you can love a player, an athlete, for their physical looks, or does it have to be based on the skill? Joe, we'll let you go first. I say that you can love a player or an athlete for their athleticism because, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. Obviously, because of obvious reasons. Yes, that works very nicely. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. Um, But you can also love them because of their physical appearance. Like... Bartolo Colon, for instance. He's a, he's a beautiful man. Not necessarily the most beautiful man compared to David Wright, but the guy's got skill. Come on, David the guy Wright. is built out of hamburgers. <laughs> Who doesn't hey. hamburger? The babe hit 714 home runs on hot dogs and beer. Exactly. <laughs> then you got David Wright, who is great third baseman, great hitter. And he's got a great face and a great body. Ah, oh, come on. Get over it with the mushy stuff. I judge them by the their talent. Right the door is right there. You will not Kenny Reichman me. I will Kenny wow. Reichman you. You will not. You bring up Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken. As a WICR legend. When did he get his PhD? Um, I didn't know about this. When he ha- didn't find a job right out of graduation? <laughs> All right, that's mean. But but no, I can say that now because Ken has a full time job on Wall Street doing corporate communications. So nice. Con- congrats to Doctor K. Good Dr. job, Dr. K. I'm so proud of you, Kenny. Like that's catchy, Doctor K. Doctor K. It's like he could have his own love show with that. Like Doctor K. K. Oh. Doctor K, the love. The love guru. The love guru. I like it. We should tell him about that tomorrow. Definitely, definitely, Doctor K. Anyway, okay, so, so Jill sees that you can have it both ways. Rob, your take. Can't answer this question. No, <laughs> uh, you can love them by their talent. I think. Oh, no. I, don't, I don't love them by their looks. Well, okay, okay. by their it talent. A female athlete. Okay, now, say? now, Rob, well, let's 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 female let's, athlete. Let's let's turn turn the tables a little bit. Mm-hmm. Go WNBA. Do you know Elena Deladon? Oh, that's that's Bay. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I shouldn't. Um, ah, no, that's ah. one of my favorite WNBA players as well. Do you find her attractive? Yes. There we go. Oh, yes. I guess I can. So now, Ian, you, you, what's right. your input? We, I mean, I know you have a personal uh, uh, infatuation and obsession with Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond, um, Elena Deladon, Candace Parker. Sky Diggs? Skylar Diggins. Sky Diggs. Diana Taurasi. No. D- Diana Taurasi. Leave. Leave. Sue Bird. Okay, Sue Bird. You, Diana Taurasi, the greatest UConn player of all time. She's she's a great player. I just don't like her. She she's brash. I'm going to have to kick she you out. She used to beat up uh, on uh, the Liberty all the time, so that's why I don't like her. Oh. Well, the Liberty, they do nothing. Oh. How many championships? <laughs> they finally there? made a move by trading they, for Tina Charles like a year ago. That's the only thing the Liberty's many, done. Uh, how many championships they, have they, they won? They have zero rings, but they made it to the big game or big series uh, four times. Wow, congratulations. This, this Who are they? They're the Buffalo Bills. Hey, but yeah. you know why they don't have any rings, though? James Dolan's the owner, so. <laughs> he missed the, the championship by one game this year. That's true. Falling short against the Indiana yeah. Fever? I think so. Yes, because the Fever lost to the Lynx. Yeah, which the Lynx came out of nowhere. I have no idea where they came from. They no. They were five years ago. Right. And then they get Maya Moore. They trade for... Lindsey Whalen and Simone Augustus gets drafted, so they put those three pieces together, and those—that's probably came out of nowhere. But isn't Augustus on the, the Silver Stars now? Is she? I think so. Wow, did not know that. I followed them on, on Instagram. And I saw a picture of her in um on their account. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I think she's on the the Stars. Well, there goes there goes Minnesota's big three. There goes Minnesota's big three. I mean, they were they were Tennessee. the dynasty of the last five years. Three championships, four finals appearances, and the other year they lost in game three of the Western Conference Finals. So they took the that series the distance. Really, they could have five straight 
WNBA Finals appearances, which is unprecedented. Oh, I'm searching Maya for Moore. her. Uh, her it's it's it's, it's all because of Maya Moore. Defense wins games. It's all because of Maya Moore. <laughs> Ma- M- Maya Moore, one of the best offensive players in WNBA. <laughs> it's Maya Moore. <laughs> it's Gino. It's Gino. That's true. That's Gino, the greatest offensive G- mind. Gino with his dynasty. UConn. Okay, switching over women's oh, college. Wait, hold on, wait. I'm pulling up now. All right. Sorry, I wanted to. Well, get some... I'm trying to keep the conversation going as you're ah. pulling it up, Joe. So what's the plans for this weekend, guys? Um, homework and tests. Um, basketball, Ooh. basketball, and basketball. Football yeah, because Iona will beat the Manhattan Jaspers tomorrow night. What Jessica. is a Jasper, though? A priest. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I went to some. I know some people. Who Wait, that's that. what it really is. Yeah, I, I thought to, Jasper was like a horse or something. No. Oh, okay. No, no. Um, I went to some. Uh, I just had one, one of those moments. One time, I asked someone from that, and I said, "What's a Jasper?" And they're like, "It's technically a priest, you know, the guy that made up the seventh inning stretch." I said, "So does that mean your mascot is a priest running around during halftime?" And they were like, "No, we have a guy in a green morph suit." I said, "The priest would be cooler." So Simone Augustus is actually on the links. I made a mistake. Ah, uh, misinformation, I'm sorry. Joe. I'm sorry. Fired. Uh, love me. Fired. We do. we do occasionally when you don't give us the wrong information. Okay. Hey, at least she didn't do. Where <laughs> at least she wasn't like a certain somebody not saying any names, who said that Cece Savat uh, no Mashiro Tanaka. Was two and zero when he was like seven and zero at one point. Uh, we won't mention that person. We 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 love all of our cousins. We do. We love all of our cousins. We do. All my children. And we 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 wish all of them well in all of their endeavors. <laughs> um. <laughs> so anyway, back to sports. I think I think that you you do have to, th- there is a a certain amount of of physical look that that you have to add to to. Liking a player, and I mean, why do I like Tom Brady so much? Because he just plays balls. And he's a cheater. He can't throw a touchdown. Um, because he's a beautiful man. <laughs> he's a cheater. He cheats at his looks. He That's right. It's in football. It's all plastic. Still surgery. has me and Eli Manning lost two games back to back. Um, he actually did beat Eli oh. Manning in the regular season finale. But does that count in the playoffs? No. Um, no. Remind me, who's the only team to go 16-0 and in the regular season? And then lose in the championship game. Who's the only team? Wait, Rob, wait. Um, what's your favorite NFL team? New Jersey Jets. Jets. New Jersey Jets. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, Jill, yours? The New York Jets. Okay. Uh, combined, those two franchises, how many championships do they have? I don't even know to be honest. I'm, it's I'm so new, me. I'm relatively new to football. It's world, so you know? me. <laughs> we only have one. Maybe you should. You, maybe you guys should learn how to cheat better. Cheating doesn't work. Hey, you cheated. You stole Bill Belichick from us. Stole you him. Stole him. Stole him. The best day in NFL history was when a press release came out uh, that was a simple four words. Hey, no, no throwing things in the station. Um, a simple four words. I resign as HC of NYJ. Masterful. 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 A man don't want you wanna know why Tom Brady plays Ian? Why? You wanna know why he plays? Because, because he puts it Jets injured blood soil. That's the only reason why Brady's career even started. Um yeah, and he could have sucked and then when Bloodsoe came back for the playoffs that year. Well, oh wait, no. They got to the playoffs because of Brady. And then they went with Brady, and now he's one of the two or three best quarterbacks of all time. No. Not better than Montana. Montana's only one undefeated in the Super Bowl. How many times has he been there? Four. How many times has Brady been there? Six. I'd rather be to the Dan six times. I'd rather be at a thousand winning percentage. They have the same number of rings plus two more rodeos. That means that Montana lost earlier in the playoffs two more times than Brady did. I don't care. I'll take Joe Montana any day over Brady. Brady has more playoff wins. That's true. At the end of the day, playoff wins get you closer to titles. I just hate him because he could have been a Jet. The Jets didn't pick him. He could have been. 
He could have been in green and white. I could have watched the greatest years of my life. <laughs> I could have watched Rex Ryan probably win four Super Bowls with him. He should have Rex won four Super Bowls with Ryan. Him. And that's a fact because the defense is unstoppable. If they had Brady on offense, that's a fact. Re- four straight. Super they Bowls. wouldn't have gotten Rex Ryan as head coach because they wouldn't have had so. Oh, ter- we would have had Herm Edwards. Yeah, Herman Edwards would have been the Jets oh, head goodness. head coach for <laughs> for fifteen years. Oh, as God. as as opposed to having what seven head coaches. Since Belichick, hey, we had some great ones. Mangini, Eric Mangini, who led the team to eight and eight, to, who led the team to eight and three, and then not uh, finished nine and seven. And that was his best year. Hey, Brett Favre was injured. Okay, he's a forty year. He was a forty year old man. Man, what were you expecting if, with Brett if Favre? If Favre was on the team the following year, the Jets would have been in the Super Bowl. Brett Favre almost led the Vikings to the Super Bowl. You know what? Brett Favre almost led the Vikings to the Super Bowl that year. But what did he do? He choked as he usually does. So he's a choke artist. So I don't think he would have gotten to the playoffs that uh, he would got he would have gotten the Jets to the Super Bowl that year then. The thing is I, I talk so bad about all these quarterbacks, right? Yeah. And I've never played a pro- in a professional sport. And meanwhile I'm talking all this bad about them. I I've never played in an NFL game ever in in I've never played in a football game ever in my life, so I think you're fine, Rob. I want the Jets to win a Super Bowl. That's all I wanted. That's all I want. I want a ring. Let's see. The Super yeah, Bowl is uh, always uh, around my birthday, and I always want my, my, my team to win, and usually the team I want to win wins, but I always want the Jets to be there, but the Jets never get there, and they always make me cry. They it's were there depressing. once, but before you were born. Hey, you could yeah. be a Jaguars fan True. or an Oakland Raiders fan. Ooh. Hey, the Raiders have three. From yeah, but from I mean, where four, have they been since? From forty years ago, they haven't done anything in forty years. the 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 only thing that the Raiders have done over the last forty years that is that they were in a, a little game that uh, had a, a tuck rule. Yeah, ah, great. Goodness. New rules get created in football. Hey, hey, hey! That was a legitimate rule that has since been changed. Yeah, because of Tom Brady, because he gets away with anything. Get the cameras in locker room. No, not in locker rooms. I mean, recording practices. What am I talking about? Recording practices. But hey, it's, hey, when your when your owner's best pals with uh, Goodell, I guess you can get away with anything. Yeah, they're boys. You didn't know that? Yeah, they're like brothers, probably. They're brothers in blue. <laughs> <laughs> this segment just totally went in a different direction. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what happens in radio. That's what happens in life. In life, especially with us. That's why we're the misfits. We're such a great triangle. We should realize the misfit. Bermuda Triangle. Triangle offense. I'm not a misfit. Triangle offense. I'm Hermes. I say the Bermuda Triangle. I'm Hermes. I say, I say I'm Rudolph. I'm Hermes. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know that was a character. I don't. Wait, isn't that his name? The, the dentist. I don't understand I don't this reference. Um, <laughs> nobody's watched <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. They had an island of misfit toys. No, I know. Oh, that. Come yeah. on, people! That I know. I Come just on, did a gun that shot jelly out. That's I've a cowboy cool. riding an ostrich. Honestly, those the claymations of those kind of creep me out, so I don't watch them. Oh, All right, you gotta go. Okay. You we, gotta go. We have to go. Actually, it's well past our time. We've gone on 13 minutes here on this segment, the final segment of the day. It's been Triangle of Misfits, the first one of many, because we have a lot of misfit problems. That need to get aired out on WICR. We'll be back next week. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into the premiere, and we will catch you on the flip side. He's Robert Boncardo. That's Joe and Venditti, and I'm Ian Sachs. Or at least that's what they tell me. And we'll be back next time. See you later, alligators. Adios. WICR, rocking the.